Welcome to Tour de Pizza. Well, it's made by oh, Tour de Pizza. French it's, pizza. It's, 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 uh, well, one day, there was a little place called Pepino Pizza, and a guy named, uh, Pepino Spaghetti, shown here, seems to be having hard times, being, uh, a little yeah, bit in debt. A little bit in debt, on loans, and having a pizza place out in the middle of nowhere. And then one day, he's visited by a pizza faced gentleman known as Pizza Face, and it's quite scary. <laughs> He tells him what, about his big master plan that he's gonna do. He's gonna big, get his big death ray and blow up his pizza restaurant because, because oh. just because. Ha ha, I'm gonna go do that now. And Pepito's like, no way you're gonna do that, buddy. I'm gonna run over to you and Valiantly. take care of that right now. He's running full mock speed as fast as he can in desperation and de 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 determination and some other people along the way. Oh wait, here it so is. So the goal here is to d is to Defeat face Pizza, Pizza face. face and his four minions and his four bosses and take him on in the Pizza Tower. I love that riff for Final Fantasy VII. It's great. Oh, I've, I've been following uh, Pizza Tower for a few years when it was uh, you know in the works, and I'm so glad it was released this year. And it is one of the best indie games you can hope to play this year. It is a cross of. The Warrior Land game, specifically three and four, it's a it's a it's a 2D Sonic game. It's a speedrunning game. It's just a whole bunch of fun. It's gonna be really fast paced, and there's a lot to it. But uh, this is gonna be an absolute fun ride. This is uh, this is, his game is known for its uh, t uh, 2D hand drawn animation. It's so expressive, and every frame is just an absolute gold mine. So please sit back and enjoy. I do like the art style and how everything is moving. It's kind of like the Ed Ed and Eddie effect, where even if they're standing stock still, something is still moving. So everybody says that it's, that it's Ren and Stimpy style, but I I disagree. I don't think it is. I think it's it's uh, a good mixture. I think it's Danny Antonucci, which is Ed Ed and Eddie. I think it's John R. Dilworth, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I see David Feast a lot, Cow and Chicken, and maybe a little bit of uh, Ren and Stimpy, but. I think it's mostly just, you know, the, the late 90s, early 2000s kind of animation. Basically, if you take the cartoons that we watched when we were a kid and an indie developer who wanted to make a video game and wanted to find a style and thought, you know what? There's not enough cartoon games out there. And the thing is, it still has its own unique style. Yes, it, it does. Because I think it also kind of has like a, a, a Newgrounds Flash game kind of style to it as well. Mixed you know? with MS Paint. Yeah, yeah. I love it. And, when, and what you have is something that's truly just fluid and wonderful, and it's 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 fun to look at and fun to play. Well, Pizza Tower is a is is a rather difficult game. The point of the game is to get these uh, things called toppins. Hi, toppins. Toppins are basically just uh, there's a, there's five of them in, there's five of them in every level, and you need them to basically beat the game. Okay, that can be done. Uh, I, I assume so. We're going for all toppins, right? We're go we're uh well there's there's some stipulations here. Uh okay. So, uh, we got, uh, the thing that's different b between this game and the other Wario Land games is that you can run up the walls. And that, uh, really makes the pace of this game go, go like, careening fast. Like, yes. that, that's what makes it, like, a 2D Sonic game. It's, it's, it's just so ridiculously fast. As soon as this game came out, the, my first thought was, I can't wait to see professional speed runs of this. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be nuts. I'm not gonna be seeing that here, by the way. Now you're the you are between the two of us. You are the token Pizza Tower player, the one who has actually beaten the game and has gotten really good at it. Uh, me, I'm still working through it as slow as molasses because literally every other awesome game came out this year. But I'm glad uh, I'm glad to be along for the ride. Appreciate it. Well, I think you're gonna really enjoy this. I'll be, I'll be showing off enough of the game though. Uh, uh, I'll explain what it means later. But uh, the, the way we're doing this is we're uh, getting all the toppings. All the treasures, okay. all the chef's tasks. Oh, cool. Not gonna focus so much on rank. That doesn't matter to me a whole lot. No, that's lot. fine. That's fine. Not gonna focus on S's or P's because I want to go out of this game still liking it, you see. <laughs> and uh, asking that would be a little bit too much. But I can definitely do all the chef's tasks and uh, get all the toppings and the treasures because really to get the best ending in this game, all you need are the treasures. Perfect. We've been going through this tutorial here just kind of... Uh, Going through how the game works and how and how and how it runs, just kind of giving you the the bare bones basics. Warrior Land Four just did this exact thing, this this exact same thing. Let me give you one piece of advice, brand new Pizza Tower players: use a controller. Use a controller. You are there's no way you can do this with a keyboard. You need a controller. I tried to use a keyboard when I first got it, oh, and within cool. five minutes of not being able to finish the tutorial, I went, "Let's see how this plays with a controller." 
million times better. I'm using a PS4 fight pad, which is you know, a fight. Pad. Oh yeah, it works. It works. Uh, uh, you you have you don't have a fight stick. You have a fight pad. Yeah, so, it's, yeah, it's so like, you actually have a controller. It's basically, a, a Sega Saturn controller. Oh, perfect. That works for PS4 and also PC. So there you go. I was using my PS4 controller whenever I was playing this. Oh, and uh, it's, it's Warrior Land. It's Sonic. It's also Metroid Whee! with the Shine Sparks. I love how Pepino moves. Look at him. I love his faces. I love the way he moves, the way he stretches. This guy knows animation, like, bar none. Every time you see Pepino go, like, full rage mode, that is pure, unadulterated, angry Italian man saving <laughs> saving his pizza. So there's speeds, of course. You've got, like, you know, this uh, walking speed. That's Mach, that's like uh, Mach 1, I'd say. Then he gets, like, a little faster. Yeah. That's Mach 2. And then he gets full speed, <laughs> yeah. where you hear, like, the burr, that's Mach 3. And there's a speed there's that's faster, faster than that. Faster than Mach, Mach 4. 3. It's called yes. Mach 4. Yeah. And, that, and you continually get faster when you're running in Mach 4. So yes, very important. There are five of these little Toppins guys. Give you money to pay Mr. Stick. Pay the cash man. You know, it took me a while to figure out that Mr. Stick was your debt collector. Okay, I'm going to be quiet because this song slaps. So the basis of how this works is just like Wario Land 4. You hit, you hit the thing at the end there, and now you have to run through all the stage all the way back. The thing is, the thing is though, you will, you will be timed for all of that. When that happens, all these blocks, uh, the, 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 the level sort of changes when that happens. And, uh, we'll get, we'll get more into that as, as we go along. So we'll be just doing our first stage today. That was just our tutorial to get us into, get us into things. But now we're here at our very first stage that we're doing. John Gutter. John Gutter Hall. I love the opening. The stings in every stage are fabulous. So the way this is gonna go, we're gonna do just a, a typical playthrough starting out. We're just just gonna get to go through the stage, try and keep up a good combo, I suppose, because uh, this game really measures your combo. You want to get your S and your P ranks. You got to keep your combos up. And uh, you get you get combos by killing enemies, of course. <laughs> but by destroying stuff, you keep your combo going by collecting those those things up there. You know, there's there's ooh, hidden ooh, there's ooh, ooh. there's a lot of hidden stuff that has like all yeah, this stuff here. There you, we go. You get more of those, you, you'll be safer getting an S rank and all that. Oh. And I think uh, depending on your speed, enemies will actually let their guard down, and you can keep your combo up that way. Is if that is that true? If you're going at Mach three, they're gonna go. Whoa! Oh, what was that you just did there? Can we explain that? That was a super taunt. There is a there is a <laughs> taunt mechanic here. We'll get we'll get a little bit more into. It's also a parry function. We'll get a little bit more into as well. And, oh god, look at that guy. He can't stand it. But if you but if you get if you get a, a ten hit combo, you, you, you kill ten enemies. You'll start glowing with power, and you can use a super taunt to wipe all the enemies. What? There are also secrets. There was in a this secret game. there. Yeah. There are secrets in this game, and, and there are three secret levels where you can get extra points that are required for the S rank, you know, to let you know. Hmm. And th th there's three in every level, and we'll be getting all those two. I noticed it kept your combo going, so that's another important thing. Your combo doesn't pause while you're in the, the special bonus areas. You gotta keep the combo going. That's right. But destroying things can keep your combo going, but only killing enemies will add to your combo. I think it also it resets your your combo meter there, correct? Yeah. Like if you kill a guy, you it's not just adding to your combo; it's actually resetting it too. Yeah, you, you just see thing like I grabbed that sausage there and it. Whee! And, and got that. <laughs> Wait a minute! Hey. Oh, shortcut! Whee! Whee! <laughs> and you still kept your combo going. Are you kidding me? Now, if I had to make a safe assumption, I'm thinking you're saving some bad guys for later, right? Boom. Yep, here's I saw the, it. Here's the uh, second secret. Uh, if I, uh, oop, well. So, so uh, <laughs> you get points when your combo ends, and you want to get a really big combo if you're looking for the S ranks. Okay. But if you do everything in the level, it, you know, it's not hard to get A ranks. Like, we're like we're about to get an A rank up there, mm -hmm. as you can see. Uh, one thing I actually noticed as well, at least in the earlier stages, I'm not sure how true it is in the latter stages, um, you can actually see some of the secrets. There's an eyeball representing where your secrets are. Mm -hmm. Not all the time, but uh, yes, you can. This is this is Jerome. He's the janitor of Pizza Tower. <laughs> he is basically the key that'll get us oh. into the treasure room, which we also have to find. You just broke John Gutter. What are you doing? We broke John Gutter. We have two and a half minutes to get out of here now. Yes, and this is when I knew I would love Pizza Tower when I heard this theme for the true second time and having to escape. 
<laughs> it's pizza time is a fantastic theme. When you get hit, you lose you lose half of your Whee! combo streak. Like uh, that, that that gauge goes down by half. You oh my do, god! You, you, you don't want to get hit. hit. Getting hit's bad. But if you get hit, it's not it's not over. You're also losing points very slowly as you're running away from the John Gutter ghost, I guess. There's treasure up here. Ooh, there it is. You need to have the janitor in order to unlock to get some butter. It's a stick of butter. What Our that? first treasure is butter, which tells me that Pepino has no real ingredients in his pizza place. Does he even know how to make pizza? Like, he's not even wearing a chef's uniform. He's wearing just a white tank top. All right, go with me on this. Yeah. Because, you know, we'll, we'll be getting into the intricacies of Pizza Tower, especially when we meet the bosses, the 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 different entities Third living inside right here. this Pizza Tower. Yes, it is. There it is. Um, I think Pepino is just... He's good at making pizza, he's just running on hard times. He needs the ingredients to make his pizza, but, you know, nobody's he, coming to the pizza place. He's a small business owner in a very, very uh, tough time. All right, that, that, that's a chef's tasks. That, that serves as, these, uh, as the steam achievements of this game. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I've, okay. I've, I've gotten many of these already. Not all, not all of them, but many of them. Good, good. I like that they show in-game, just so you can give a visual example. New York going Mach 4, baby! That's Mach 4. Yeah! yeah. And very good, very good. We are right. very nice. Very uh, nice. Look at that face. <laughs> I just love how happy he looks. So not too bad. We got all the toppings, which means we got 50 bucks. Each topping gets you 10 bucks, and if you want to unlock the boss of the floor, you got to pay the man. Right. Pay hey, Mr. Stick. Let's take a look into the floor a little bit more. Kind of ah! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's a big old rat! There's our next stage. We got a computer here that shows everything. We got top and secret treasures. We got achievements and clothes, which apparently is held over from my old data, which oh. is kind of neat. Okay, cool. Here is your chef tasks. Ah. Oh. So John Gutter, we got the one for destroying all the dead John blocks in John Gutter. Oh, cool. We're going to finish under, under two minutes, and we have to get a combo of 99 or more. Oh, my. The next one, we got to get the priest without bumping into a wall. We got to get parry 10 fork knights and uh, kill another enemy while in the ball form. Holy cow. Finish without getting hit by explosion. Kill a rat with a bomb You're just giving away all the cool stuff. One sets of, uh, we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. By the way, I should it. mention that this game's not long. It can, it can be. You, you're going to be blasting through this game. Defeat the boss without getting hit, which we will do, and then getting S ranks, and then there's a secret one here for getting all P ranks. We're getting all perfects. Oh. Getting perfects is what we'll get into here, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spend the rest of the episode getting the chef's tasks in John Gutter. First thing we're going to do is we're going to beat it in two minutes. Sounds easy. Two minutes. Sounds easy? Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a hand. How, uh, how kill me is this? <laughs> It's it's basically muscle memory, and uh, when you've done it like the fifth time, start it over, and it's it, it becomes like second nature. Just kind of know what to expect. So obviously, don't go for secrets. Those are, you know, you don't need them anymore since you already got them. Don't go for secrets. Don't focus so much on killing enemies. Just just go forward as fast as you can. There's a little bit of margin for error if you take some shortcuts like I am, or I or I will. But uh, it's just good to keep the pace going. Like you gotta go down here. You gotta go, 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 pizza man! Down Come there, on! And then you gotta make sure you get good, a good Lord. shine spark this is up going there. So fast. And now here's here's the big one. You gotta make sure you jump at the right time to avoid the the bananas. The here. bananas, yeah. Oh, Ow. that's all right. That's all right. Oh, I saw you got a little something called chef like. That's pretty it's nice. Chef like. It's a it's a grading your combos as you get them. And when we get the ninety nine combos, we'll be seeing all of them. Just take a little time up here by just doing that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping it going, keeping it going. If you saw that little guy there, it means you're probably in good time. All right, we got a minute to get back. Let's go. What was that here. little guy? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just some. Just I had some, no idea. Some kind, of, some kind of guy. Oh. But whenever I'm, I'm good on time, he shows up. Awesome. The game knows. You're at minute 15. You got 45 seconds to finish the stage. I will say this is not my first attempt. That's okay. Oh, what was that advanced tech I just saw? That was that was the shine spark. That's a they put in Super Metroid shine sparks in this game. Was that also a shoulder dash I saw? Uh huh. That was awesome. It's, I didn't know you could it, do that. It's, it's a whole bunch of things crammed into one, and that's why I think this oh, game is doing oh. so well. Okay, go 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 go. All right, twenty All right, seconds. Tw twenty, 20 seconds. seconds. Can we make it? I think you got it. Oh, we're 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 flubbing on here. That thing will mess you up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Disturbing. Disturbing combo. <laughs> And 
it. Oh, you got this. You got this because it is right there. Uh, 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 got it. All right, cool. Yeah. Yay! You a fast Italian man. But we didn't get so much. You're OBK. Points, so. But but don't worry. It uh it keeps your best rank. Oh, nice. Of course, that'd be that'd be stupid. And also, uh, the toppings you can't get like more toppings and farm money. I'm just thinking. I, oh man, I want to get a D rank this time. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. We got to get 99 combo. We got to keep an unbroken combo going. Okay. What it also means is kill every enemy in the level. Sounds right. So, let's talk about these ranks here. We got a D rank. It's basically we do nothing. <laughs> and, like, like you, you, like you must be doing some kind of pacifist run or playing the game wrong <laughs> if you're doing that. Uh, C rank, it, it's it's not easy to get a C rank. It's it's uh, not easy to get a D rank because like we already basically got a C rank just before we even finish this room. Getting secrets, getting all the toppings, of course, gets you points. You don't add to your combo, but they get you points, and that adds to your to your rank. But if you want to get an S rank. What you essentially have to do is you have to get all the secrets, mm -hmm. get the treasure, because that gets you lots of points too. Uh, get a very high combo. It doesn't have to be an unbroken perfect combo. That was almost a combo breaker, I just noticed. Almost it. Die, die, die. 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 Okay. okay, there we go. And you also have to do the second lap. We'll get we'll get into what that means here, here in a bit, because we're gonna have to take one. I thought that was just for P rank. Nope, it's it's uh, really helpful for S rank too because you're okay. getting you're getting more points. That makes sense. It uh, it uh, might even put you over the edge if you've been getting all the secrets and all the toppings and all that so far. It'll take you from an A to an S rank as soon as you hit that that portal. But you can't do it the first time around. But whenever you you clear a stage, you can then you can then take a second lap. Mm hmm. When you clear the John Gutter block here. Another portal will open up that will take you on a second lap where you basically start right from John Gutter and then see if you can clear with the, with the time remaining to get even more points. And that's what's needed to get you into an S rank, but if you want to get a P rank, you have to do that and get the, and get the secrets and get the toppings and do all that without breaking your combo. Hmm. And even then for an S rank, you still need a pretty high one. Yeah, uh, when this first came out, I could have sworn it was based on just points alone. Like, I didn't think you had to... I mean, keeping the combo going, obviously, that gets you a boku to points. I just thought uh, you could break it, but still have enough points to, to win it. So you have to do a second lap, 66. because there aren't enough enemies in the state. Right. Oh, that was a nice uh, nice parry that there. Guy, that guy always messes up my combo. Like, two, two playthroughs I lost with him. Just decided, no, not this time. Oh, uh, get it, get still it, good, get still it. good. Yeah. Still good. Still good. It doesn't cancel your combo. It's just over inconvenient. Here. And the second lap portal is right here. Oh, good. It reset your combo. I was worried about that. So the enemies respawn. Some things don't. We need to kill all the enemies on the second lap, too, because there are exactly 99 enemies in ah, this level. Ah, okay. Yeah, I noticed uh, the timer, the little time points also add back to your combo, or at least save it. it yeah, th there's there's plenty of combo savers. You don't need to kill enemy like me. It's a... Uh, it... There's, there's, a, there's a route involved. It requires muscle memory and memorization, <laughs> a bit of skill. Oh, good! <laughs> that was such good, a save! Good usage of Holy that as cow. well. Gotta make sure you gotta kill all the enemies, all the enemies. That means a monkey up there. Yeah, get that the monkey up there. Go, 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 All right, nine more. Oh, nine, more enemy, nine more enemies in the whole level. And... All right, get that guy. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, there's no, no no enemies in secrets, but they can also count <laughs> your combo. Struck. He's just okay. Bad times, bad times. The the, the level doesn't end if uh, time runs out. It just means that pizza guy will automatically start chasing you, and when he touches you, it's game over, and he kicks you back out to the main hub. Yep. Pepino doesn't take the damage. He just takes the inconvenience and stress. Seven. And ninety eight, ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. Now get out of here. Yeah. I tell you, I had that face when I fucking did it. Woo. Yeah. Very, very nice. nice. It's a pizza die. Well, that is roughly. What we're going to be dealing with going forward here. Are you sure you're going to be good after this? Like, what, what's your heart rate at right now? <laughs> well, I, I happen to love this game, so... <laughs> okay, so so it's uh, just, it's normal. See, that's why I'm not doing the S ranks. I did I did plenty of S ranks, and that gets the heart rate up, especially when you do it like eight, nine times or whatever. Gotcha, gotcha. And that's all the achievements for John Gutter. Look at that thumbnail there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! 
Next up, we're going to be moving on to the next two levels. Pete's Escape and Ancient Cheese. Oh, Pete's Escape is great. See, there's a little taunt button there. It also doubles as a breakdance button. You breakdance. Yeah. And I'll have this breakdancing take us away. We'll see you next time. What? <laughs>